Hello everyone! I'm here today to make a brief guide on the basics of playing Peach Smash Ultimate. Peach is a top two character that's incredibly fun to learn and play, so I think you should definitely give this character a try. Peach is a mix-up based bait and punish character that relies on incredible unique aerial movement to win neutral and once you've done so, punish very hard. Peach's style may take some time to learn, but when you do, it becomes extremely rewarding. In this guide, I will cover just the basics of Peach and give you some information so you can try to start learning. I will cover her overall strategy in neutral, as well as all of her moves, turnips, and finally, how to kill. So without further ado, let's get started. First, I'm going to be discussing Peach's overall game plan in neutral. Neutral is a very complicated subject that I don't have time to fully describe in this video. So instead, I'm going to give a basic overview of Peach's gameplay at all percents. At lower percents, when both you and your opponent are in neutral, you want to use creative movement to mix your opponent up. This can be done with drifting, floating, double jumping, anything you can use to find an opening to land a move, preferably a combo starter like neutral air, down air, up air, back air. When you have finally found an opening in neutral, you can take advantage of Peach's impressive combo game to deal massive damage. It's important to lab out these combos so you know what to do when you finally land an opening. After landing a combo, you can try to maintain advantage for as long as possible to rack up damage until the opponent is at kill percent. At kill percent, you want to be as patient as possible. Keep in mind that most of your kills are going to come from aerials at high percents or by forcing your opponent off stage into a position where you can easily edge guard them. Here we'll be going over Peach's moveset. Her ground normals are all very niche and so I'm not going to spend much time discussing these. They're all very unsafe and laggy. Instead, we'll discuss her aerials which are also very laggy when used normally. In fact, they can even be unsafe on a hit at low and mid percents. So what do you do? Well basically, every time you use one of these aerials, you want to land on the ground immediately after to negate the lag. This can be done by fast falling or by float cancelling. As an exception to this rule, down air and forward air can be short hopped. Primarily, the moves you want to use in neutral are neutral air, back air, and up air. These moves all need their end lag cancelled, but once you cancel it, they are relatively fast and they have low end lag, giving them endless utility. Whether for combos or killing, at low, mid, and high percents, these moves are always useful. I do want to state an exception to this rule, which is down air, a move that has no lag. This means you can buffer an aerial immediately afterwards. This gives it utility as a great combo starter and even a valid approach option in neutral, something Peach does not have a lot of. Her specials are also pretty lackluster, being very high committal. As attacks, you want to use these moves as rare mix-ups. They do have some use, but not very often. I will now discuss Peach's down special, the turnip. These are terrific projectiles, and I will be going over some tips for using them effectively. First of all, you want to mix up the timing on your throws. What I mean by this is, do not just pull turnips and throw them immediately after. The opponent can see this coming and avoid them. What you want to do is hold on to turnips after you've pulled them. You can still use the majority of Peach's moveset while holding a turnip. Holding a turnip is good for pressuring your opponent into playing more defensive since you could throw it at any time. It also allows you to really mix up your timing when you throw it, so you can hit your opponent when they least expect it. Turnips are also great for punishing moves that would otherwise be unpunishable. In this clip, I punish a Joker F smash on shield by throwing a turnip. It is an incredibly quick option, and if you are holding a turnip when the opponent whiffs, it can be super easy to punish them. Last but not least, turnips can be used to safely edge guard. Sometimes it's scary going off stage. Turnips can be used to safely challenge a good deal of recoveries while dealing lots of damage. Lastly, I'm going to discuss killing with Peach. Unfortunately, besides complicated turnip combos, Peach does not have kill confirms on low percents. 
However, sweet spot up smash on aerial opponents kills around 90. I know this isn't very early. F smash is going to kill at around 100. And the moves you are not going to want to stale are forward air that kills at around 110. Back throw that kills at 160, and dash attack that kills at around 155. Your most common kills are going to be from neutral air and back air, both killing at around 160, as well as up air. If you get desperate enough, your tilts will start killing at around 200%. So yeah, Beach's kill moves aren't super great, so that means most of your kills are going to come from random up airs, neutral airs, and back airs at high percents, or from forcing your opponent off stage and getting successful edge guards. Most of the time, you aren't going to be looking for a kill, and they're going to happen just as a result of playing the game. When you're playing, don't get nervous or flustered. Peach racks up damage very quickly. So my advice for killing is just to be patient. You'll get to kill percent eventually. Anyway, that is all for my guy. If you're considering picking up Peach, I would highly recommend doing so. This character is really good and a whole lot of fun to play. I hope you learned something during this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. If you have made it this far in the video, please subscribe to the channel.